Hey, what's up, guys? This is KD Cloudy, and this is easily the most requested video ever on this channel. I get emails, messages, and comments daily saying I got a Nexus 5. I want to keep using it and have an Android Nougat, have a custom ROM on it, have themes on it. So, how do I get started? Well, this video is for you if you're one of those guys, and here it is. This is everything you need to know about flashing ROMs on the Nexus 5 from start to finish. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm using a Nexus 5 with stock Marshmallow 6.0.1 with the locked bootloader. So yes, let's get right into it. The entire process is divided into four main steps basically. Uh, first is unlocking the bootloader. Second is installing TWRP or Trooper Recovery. And third is flashing the ROM. And fourth is flashing the G apps or the Google apps which, without which the phone is basically useless. And before starting with the steps, we have some prerequisites. First is downloading the ADB tools and drivers link below. This will help you to run ADB commands from pretty much everywhere. Next you need to download the ROM package which you will get from the ROM site. And for this video we'll be using Paranoia Android 7.3 because that just happens to be what I love at the moment. Next you need to download the TWRP custom recovery for the Nexus 5 from TWRP's website. And lastly download the Google Apps or G Apps from opengapps.org. The configuration for this specific ROM should be ARM 7.1 because it's a Android 7.1 based ROM and Pico it's pretty tiny so it'll work for you as well. So first what you need to go is take your phone and go into the settings, developer options and you can enable developer options by tapping the build number seven times and once you go into the developer options turn on USB debugging. Next you need to connect your phone to the PC through a USB cable and you're basically set, ready to follow the 4 steps. Now first on your PC, go to the folder where you have all of your stuff downloaded, uh, hit shift right click and open windows powershell or command prompt whatever shows up. And now what you need to do is type this command, adb reboot bootloader and after that your phone will pull up this weird text with a paralyzed android but don't worry that's totally normal and after that just head back to your pc and type fastboot oem unlock and a gentle reminder this will wipe all of your data so you better get a backup beforehand and after you hit that command your phone will ask for a confirmation telling you about the various disadvantages of having a custom rom you don't need to care about any of that just hit yes and you're done boom step one is complete now step 2 is installing top recovery. Moving on, on your PC, you have to type this command fastboot flash recovery and hit the tab key until the top file name shows up and hit enter. And after that, you need to go over to your phone, you need to press the volume down button a couple of times until you see a recovery. And after a while on your phone, you will see this blue colored logo which says team win in a very absurdly high brightness and if you see that, congratulations step 2 is also complete. Now step 3 and 4 are the easiest, there are a couple of ways to do this but you'll just stick to one of them. Up on your phone as you are in TWRP just slide this bar to allow modifications and now once you're in the home menu what you first need to do is wipe the device uh, so just go to the home screen tap on wipe tap on the advanced wipe button and check these three partitions and just swipe to wipe that rhymed uh, but anyways go back and tap on the advanced button over here and then adb side load now swipe the bar to confirm and get back to your pc now over here you need to type this command called adb side load and then hit tab unless your rom package shows up and after that just hit enter and then it's going to take a while depending upon your rom package but after it's done just repeat the previous step but this time hit tab until the gapps show up and install the gapps boom pretty simple and that too will take a while to install but once you're done hit the reboot system button and just don't install the top app up to you basically but once you've done that that's basically it you're done you're now free to enjoy a fresh customer rom experience on your nexus 5. Now, lastly if you want to root what you need to download is magisk it's just a zip file which you need to flash similarly the way you flashed your rom and g apps or you can just save it on your phone and tap on install now to app recovery and browse it and flash it like that and that was it that's your beginner's guide to install a custom rom on your nexus 5 now i try to keep this video as simple as possible 
and not go too high tech to avoid confusion but yeah that's basically it so hopefully this was a pretty helpful tutorial and i've made a similar video for the google pixel so you might as well check that out but yeah that wraps it up thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers